Smash Brothers Ultimate 8.1 update, very minor update. I did want to mention it because, you know, we're both big fans of Smash Brothers. Uh, and the thing that was really interesting to me was that they've actually, like, so they've included a small battlefield, but that they've also also changed the way that the actual online works. So they've actually, um, they've increased the tick rate of one-on-one -on -one battles. So it, it used to run at basically 30 refreshes. So it's checking 30 times every second what your inputs <coughs> are. And now it's going up to 60 times a second. So people have already reported that the online seems a little bit better in a one-on-one -on -one sense. But I, I guess the reason why I wanted to mention this and sort of get into it a little bit is just that I think that this actually tells me that they're not going to do anything more extravagant with the online smash, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, e.g., e they're not going to go and do some kind of rollback netcode or anything like that. That This is the limit of what we're going to see from this. And I'll just say this, this, this is important information about the improvements to the online that was... We got all this information from Nintendo's detailed patch notes about this, didn't we? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that that one-liner... Some improvements have been made to the online experience. That's it. <laughs> well, and, and, you know, actually, in, in defense of them, uh, Sakurai actually did say that you... He, he said something along the lines of you you might want to check uh, the one-on-one -on -one battle and see, you know, what it's like or something like that. It was, like, really cryptic. But that, and then, but yeah, that so wasn't in, were, like, the patch notes, though. <laughs> like, you have to... No, he wrote it in Japanese. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He wrote it in Japanese. So it was like, people were like, okay, we've got to look at the one-on-one -on -one battle and see see what's going on here. Mm. So, yeah. You know, I yeah, I think they, they could have been a lot clearer about, you know, what, like, what are they even talking about in terms of the patch notes or, you know, yes, we've made improvements to one-on-one -on -one battles. And that's probably as far as they need to go. But I, I guess my overriding point is, I think given that they are you know, really just looking at doing tweaks to the way multiplayer works. They simultaneously are admitting that it's not great, but then also kind of indicating to me that they're not going to do anything about this, unfortunately. Like, I, I just can't see them going off in, you know, putting in rollback net code into Smash Brothers Ultimate. But I do pray and hope that it's a bit of a wake-up call to them and, and they do, you know, in the next version of Smash Brothers, maybe not even on the Switch, but the next gen console for Nintendo, that they actually do have something more like a rollback netcode in um, in Smash Brothers. But was there anything else? Oh, and yeah, just the other one is that Elite Smash, before it was uh, the top 3.5% of people could get into Elite Smash. Now it's been changed to the top 10, uh, sorry, top 5%. So it's a lot easier to get into Elite Smash as well. It's probably uh, helpful for you, Swinny. Yeah, it's it's... I think I had some characters on the precipice of that, so we'll see whether or not I can get them in there finally. Yeah, it, yeah, it's decreased by a couple of hundred thousand, so maybe. 